What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Finally, something interesting that's come down recently from the Curiosity Rover. Thanks to my buddy Chell. I think you guys probably know him if you've been watching my channel. All my subscribers who've been stuck with me through everything, I love you all. I always say I'm going to be right back with a new video and then life happens, but... I got some coming up. I'm, I'm going to put more time in this because this is definitely, there's a lot going on in space right now and a lot being let out, um, especially when it comes to neat things. So, And Curiosity has been pretty boring lately. So I've been going back and doing a lot of like cleaning up from the PDS files, the real, real, real high definition ones. I got some to show you guys. But this thing just came out. My buddy Chell sent this over. Like I said, this is about, I'm going to give you a good, uh, this is what it looks like coming directly from NASA. I hit auto color in, uh, basically in Photoshop and not just this crazy oval looking, uh, piece to this, whatever it is, it looks like a broken down metal tank or something like that. There are pieces all over here that have shiny, uh, blocked, they're triangles, what look to be, you know, things that would have fit together. Something that's pretty cool. This is definitely what we, uh, what I get excited about when I, when I look and I say, hey, yeah, that looks like ruins. When I show somebody this somewhere else, I say, ooh, that's pretty interesting. But let me show you where I got it from. So, you know, here are the two that I've got up. I've got them in Photoshop right now. Um. And I've also pulled them up here so you guys could take a look. There was one we were looking at. And look at all these really white things. These, I mean, this is before I even did the auto color. Look at that stuff coming on here. You're going to see some really cool stuff up here. And then this is just a wider field of view here. There's not much you can really get from it. But you can, what you can get, you can see the tire marks. See the tire tread marks from the uh, the rover itself. So that one piece we're looking at, the, the tread, they're about that, you know. And if you see, I'm pointing in my head, they're about a foot, maybe foot and a half or something like that. So this piece that we're looking at is, you know, a boulder size. Or maybe you're picking up one of these screens or something like that. Um, maybe a little bit smaller. So this this, and if you go by the model that I subscribe to here, that Mars took a slash and. It, whatever happened there totally destroyed the planet and it, it not only destroyed the planet it took out like basically everything a lot of the stuff would it, it was underwater it would have been gone by now except for things that were built in stone or things that were built with uh special aluminum not aluminum special metals and, and uh you know with technology that we didn't have or maybe we do have maybe it was the megalithic type builders here our stone builders on earth that we are still finding things that are just boggles our imagination but let's get into this thing because this thing's pretty wild and we're going to look up around it i mean like i said for curiosity this is sold 2255 for everybody who wants to go check it out as always the links are in the bottom um there's always i always put up these enhanced images on the website the forum on the website is really kicked off like i said we have some great guys over there and i mean it looks like a perfect like you could toss a tic tac right in there so it's strange, whatever it is. They said this is, could just be some sort of rock. I don't know how that would have been there with that opening to it, though. That's what's, what's great about it. Then you've got up here what seemed to be two, like, these neat little uh, topped-on, uh, like, you know, horseshoe-looking pieces to it. And like I said, I, I see what I see, you see what you see. When I say what I, you know, oh, this, you know, that looks like a tic-tac. Oh, I don't think that's a tic-tac. Yeah, it does look like an oval. You know, I just can I can only equate it to things I've seen in my life. You know, just like you can only equate it to things you've seen. So that's why I see what I see, you see what you see, and then we go from there. Sometimes we meet in the middle, sometimes we don't. Um, but very, uh, very interesting. Look here, come up here. This is very beveled. Whatever it is, looks like, looks like a ninety degree angle, just like the other ones. This very sharp, or it's really bright material, whatever it is, seems very interesting. And we get a lot of pics. Like I said, these are the ones that come directly from where it says raw images on the NASA website, like the actual Curiosity rover website. But that doesn't mean that, you know, these are nothing compared to how clear, like we can get these crisp and clear 
when it comes to a couple other ones. Now there's another piece up here I want to show you before we go over all this other stuff, just to show you that there's some pretty crazy cool stuff here. Check this out. This little guy right here. Looks like a perfect circle almost, or a perfect oval, but what's interesting, it looks like it's metal, and under it seems to have another piece to it. Almost like it's a jar you would open up if, say, you have a candy jar or something in your house, or something along those lines. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. You know, I'd say I'm just equating it to stuff I've seen. It's pretty cool. More, and you're going to notice through this whole picture, like I said, this is just one little picture out of this one little piece, this one little swath of, of Martian land. These are a little interesting. See how they're lined up pretty cool. That's interesting. Okay, so now we got these really smoothed off pieces. Here's where I say it's it's been, you know, this is where I think we're looking at buildings and things that have been smashed. Uh, basically, like Puma Punku here and so many ruins before, before they, we get in, when we find these these uh, archaeological places here on Earth, um, they basically, a lot of them are in ruins. So a lot of them look like this. They piece them back together. I mean, imagine one day there's going to be children possibly that are doing this on other planets like Mars and things like that. I, I look up and I pray that would be our, our generation before us being able to do this. So... Check out these white pieces though. I'm about to really show you a cool one over there. It looks like a cup sitting down, you know. More of what looks to be uh, popped up stuff. But let's look at these up here. I'm going to pull you all the way to the one up here. This is an interesting piece. Look right there as well. Where is that one? Let me pull. I'm sorry for making you sick. Okay, here it is right here. Now this looks like a piece of rebar, This this white one over here. Whatever this is this piece but whatever it is it's perfectly coming across it's got it's like rebar it's a perfect bar that's coming across probably about that you know not too big i mean i think it's bigger than like a pen or pencil but uh and then on the top look how bright that is whatever it's connecting into it's it's grabbing the heck out of the sun whatever it is it looks like it's got two two thick pieces here and a piece coming up off top of it. It's like said, gosh, the pixelization is horrible here, and it really leads to speculation. But I mean, that's pretty pretty well. Let me see if I can put a line on that. I guess I could here. Let's see. I don't know. I'll take that. It comes up the uh, the new version. Let's see line tool. Let's see if I was right. Yeah, that's pretty much dead on, if you want to call it, right in the middle of the middle. Yep. So, it's straight, whatever it is. Pretty cool. And it lays in this just crazy-looking field of junk here. Like, as, as my buddies would say, Terry and them over there in France, Uncle Jake's Junkyard, we got it. A little interesting piece here. Now check that out. I mean, it looks like a little uh, growth of something. It's interesting. One time I put out a video. I said, "Uncle, uh, the the." I'm just the way I was. I was joking a little bit. This is back before I really started taking things a lot more seriously, uh, like the lion on Mars, but the one from Wizard of Oz, like the cowardly lion. There was a piece that looked just like the cowardly lion. Kind of like that meme does there. It looks like somebody with a meme. But that piece right there I thought was pretty cool with the smoking gun here. I mean, a lot of this stuff, uh, this right here, people are going to see. I know people are going to see a face right in here, whatever this thing is. Especially as you pull it out. When you see things on a cell phone versus the big computer. See, I'm looking at it on a huge computer right now. And even when I step back a piece, it looks really good. Look, I moved it again. I always end up doing that. Um, okay, let me grab my mouse. Let's take a look at this piece up here. All right, look. Isn't that neat just how it comes off? And then you get the pixelization that comes off. Drives me nuts. But it looks like it will come back under, and it's got a nice curve on it. There's a box piece there. Let's have. To, let's turn it to black and white. Same. Nothing changes, really, just color. But look at the difference in the color. Like, I mean, between black and white and there. And like I said, it's there because... Take it from black and white to there. You can see the colors. Um, I'm doing a really neat thing on the InSight landing and colors and things like that. I've got the actual, some of the clips from the landing. 
That's going to come up here soon. I've got a whole bunch of these that I'm going to do. i got to get done. And Space News. I'm up. Like I said, I feel like bad. Like I haven't gotten many videos out to you guys lately. I thank you so much for dealing with it and <laughs> dealing with my lack of videos. Um, you guys have been coming to the website even more. Look, at the, You know, this is interesting. Whatever this is so bright, it's blurring either the either the – JPL is blurring it, the rover is blurring it, or just the camera is blurring it because it's so dang bright. But look at how it's got that like uh, eyepiece almost in there, like uh, the C and then just like a mouth. It looks like your perfect uh, you know, marshmallow ghost or something. That's not what I see there. I'm just joking, guys. But still, interesting stuff to look at. And this this cool right there, I said this piece right here, I, I had made this video three times now. Hopefully this one works. And uh, this is just kind of cool. I was just sitting there. It looks like a piece. I said it looks like something that it's ornament. It looks like an ornament. You know, just like I said, just like this piece looks like a piece of building or something that has, uh, you know, three little pieces that hold it into something. And then look at this up here at the top. You've got this. Just sitting here, round it off with one, two, three star looking shapes coming out. Destroyed, smashed civilization. Here it is. Who knows how far? This stuff could have been, might not even smash anywhere near each other. This stuff could have just came, it, it, we're, it, we're basically at the bottom of a mountain. And, uh, you know, the water obviously is flowing through here. NASA's even admitted that. Hell, there's water still standing in here right now. Um, why not? This stuff could have been washed from the other side of who knows, halfway across Mars, depending on the cataclysm. Um, but that thing is cool. I noticed that right away when, when Shell signed it. I'm sure it's probably somebody's already done a video on it. I put that other piece out the day it came out. He's uh, pretty quick at things. Gosh, look at these down here. More, more trancy. We've got a... Uh, you think that looks like a perfect rectangle almost? It's a little rounded down here, but it almost looks like an axe, a piece of an axe. Over here, it looks like a pot or something that's put into things. See how it's a little bit darker in there? Let me see how that looks when it comes from NASA. Yeah, you still see that, like, that, that look to it. And I think, see, when I think NASA puts that one color over top of it, or the rover does, it hides a lot. See, let me look how much comes out just when you do the auto color. And this one was cool, too. Tell me this isn't neat. This end is blurred out right here. This is very blurry. For for right here not being blurry, this is very blurry. However it happens, I don't know. Somewhere along the way. But check that. I could happen on the camera lens. It could happen on the computer. It could happen you know, by somebody's. But it's like a... It's, it's a down. It, it, it looks like a crack, but... I think there's something sitting there, like a circle in the middle of it, that's uh, maybe making it look like a zigzag. But whatever it is, if it's not, if it's sitting on top of it, it's a interesting shape either way. But just like over here, we've got some memoir symmetry in the shapes here. An interesting one. I haven't checked that one. It's amazing how you can just go through one little piece. It's like one little itty bitty piece of Martian land. And this, this definitely, every time I look at this right here, I see this as a face with the mouth, the nose, and the two eyes. And I try not to let whatever they call paradoia come in and, and attack in my brain and make everything, everything you see is just your eyes. You know, just like looking at the clouds back when there were clouds like that. The stuff above it here is interesting too, just because it looks, some of this looks melted over. It, it's just a very interesting spot to be laying amongst. Uh, this is pretty, like this piece up here is pretty darn interesting. It looks like it would be simulated here below, but look, it's very blurry right here. Very, very blurry when it comes to it. All right, let me pull it out one more time. More, here's another piece right here. This was interesting too, just, just kind of a piece of it. 
one, two, some holes there. Those weren't actually done by the lasers. And then as we were talking about the triangle pieces that just have one, two, their sides to it, just flattened out sides. Very interesting. This is a beveled piece that we saw earlier. This right here is just getting another piece. It kind of matches the exact angle on there, except it's above. Just like it was over here when we found the same exact one over there. Look, I moved it again. I do that all the time when I'm, I'm pulling stuff around. But what do you guys think this white stuff is all over here? Like, it's up here. I mean, you see this one. This definitely, whatever it is, it looks like metal or something. I just moved it again. <laughs> definitely something that's been metal. It's got some sort of valve, it looks like, on top. It does not look natural. Um, I thought this was a good one to come back for, to curiosity with. A lot of the ones that I am going to be showing you are older ones, but ones that have been cleaned up. Um, I said, I apologize for not getting the videos that I know you guys have stuck with me. I love you guys all so much. Uh, right now, it's the uh, Christmas Eve, so much love to you guys. Hope you have a good one. You're with people you love. Much love.